Hello everyone, this is Blot, and in today's video I'm going to show you the basics of visas. I call this video Vis Anatomy because I'm going to just explain like the characteristics of the visas. I won't go too deep into strategies or the formulas and that stuff. I'm just going to explain the characteristics so you can understand how they work. So let's go to it. You gotta go to Heaven Sect, Beast Garden, and here you can see all the visas that you have. I'm gonna open this one, which is my main. So, in the main interface, you can see the stars, you can see the name of the servant uh, who is using the, the beast at the moment, or you will see the name of your character like in this case i'm using just this one then the name of the beast this is a render uh, for example this the name is devour usually the five stars uh, version has an extra name for example in this case it's a snowy render but it's usually it's like just the same these graphics with a little more of the creation. Then you can see the stars. This is the most important thing to know this in Abyss because the stars will determine the initial attributes, the initial talents of the bees, how much talent points you will get and and so on. Yeah, so this is important. <laughs> then you will have the button set free. This button is to release your beast. When you release the beast, you will get back all the materials that you invest in it, plus a little extra, which is just really, really small. Uh, but you lose the beast. You lose it definitely. So be, um, be cautious with this one. Then on relief, it's the same function, but you don't you don't get the extra just the invested mat and you gotta spend some SJ, some spirit jade. In this case it's 50 for all the visas uh, for all the four stars visas or below. Okay. For the five star is 200 spirit jades. And for the six stars uh if I remember correctly it's 500 SJ but I don't have the number at, at this moment. And finally, we have reroll. Here you use an item, this one, a monster stone piece, to reroll both talents or the number of talents of the beast. The three stars pieces, like this one, only have one talent, the person one. Four stars pieces, they have two talents. Five stars, they have three. And six stars have four. I don't have any five star or six star to show you, but well, you have the idea. And advanced rerolling, you can use this item, Monster Stone, to reroll only one of them. Okay, and you can get um, uh, a little more, or you can get the same or a little less. But you, in this case, you will always get a, a, at least a good talent. If you can see here, it says ordinary. I'm going to explain a little more in a moment. Then you have right, which is to, to mount to the character. And you have here, it says usually mount off. It is not been writing in at the moment because it's for a servant. But in this case, it's mounted on tank priest. So it says get off, obviously if you want to change the beast but be aware that if you take off a beast from a servant you gotta wait 24 hours to mount it on another servant and this only applies for servants this doesn't apply for character now let's go to the tabs the first tab that we have is attributes here we can see the level the progress bar, this is the XP needed to go to the next level. The feed button, where you can use the Immortal Beast for Rage, which add 
50k XP to the Immortal Beast. The intimacy that only applies to servants. This is important. This doesn't apply to character. And you only get a bonus each 10 points of intimacy. You get exactly just like the same percent. For example, if you have if you have intimacy 10, you get 10 percent over these ones, talent attributes. Okay. In this case, I have 100, so I have I get 100 of these, and this is reflected on the green number. Now the green number is a little higher right now because there's another thing called intimacy that I'm gonna mention in a moment. So I have extra 12 percent in to in total. I have 112 percent. Then we have this four here. We can use I can get more intimacy because it's at max 100. But here you use an item called, let me show you, Celestial Dew, and you get 5 Intimacy. Or you can get Intimacy per hour, 1 point per hour, when the beast is mounting, uh, when a servant is mounting the beast, okay? Then we have... The basic attributes, these are the stats that your character get when you when you are using the beast on, on your character. And the, and the ones below are the ones for the servant. They never mix up, okay? In this case, the black number is the, the initial stat plus the level, row the stat, plus the rank bonus, this bonus. And the green number is from quantity bonus plus the skills plus this one. This is this one is just an addition, okay? Uh, so these numbers are represented by that. And in case in talent attributes, uh, just how I explained a moment ago, the the black number is the same initial at, uh, initial attributes plus level attributes growth. Uh, by the multiply for the rank bonus and then the green number is intimacy and tendency okay let's go to skill tabs skills tabs is just a little addition on a stats it's not a big deal on the long term maybe they help on the early game but that's it this is the max that you can get and every time you use one of these items to refine you get a random value okay it's random it doesn't go up it can go up or it can go uh, down and it applies for all of them each beast has different skills usually five star pieces and six stars they have all the different skills possible but in this case i just have for life essence dexterity Vital energy and one elemental. In this case, is for wood, wood damage. Then we go to upgrade. In the upgrade tab, we can see the requirements to go to the next rank. We can see the current bonus that we have, the next bonus possible, the current talent points that we are getting. In case we are using your piece in a servant. This is per talent, okay? The total one is by four. And the ones that we'll get on the next rank. Here we have the level needed and the match needed to go to the next rank. Now let's go to talent stuff. Here we have the talents that I mentioned before. In this case, I have only two, which is person one on one talent, this one. This is the most important talent, in my opinion, uh, on any beast on, uh, from 5 star and below. For 6 stars, uh, the last talent that they have it's as, it's very good as well. That's why I, I say just that this is the best one on 5 star and below. Because this will boost your game a lot and this will grow along with the servant. 
Then we have this one, which is only an addition of talents. It's, it's good as well, but not as good as the first one. Then we have another one, which is just like this, but for prestige. Uh, you can find that one on the five star pieces. And it only boosts prestige. It's important to mention that. Okay, it won't boost your your attributes or your talents, only the prestige. And finally, the six stars one have a person bonus as well, but for all the attributes. Okay, the, which is very cool. And the max for each of these talent is 25% for this one and prestige. 25 talents addition for this one and 12% max for the six stars talent. But it's important to remember that one will boast all the four talents. <clears throat> so it's very good. Then we have tendency. Tendency is honestly not a big deal on low rank pieces and on early game actually it's it can help a little but it's not a big deal because this percent only applies on the beast attribute okay it doesn't apply on the servant itself so it won't make a big difference for example let's go to a rank for example this one is a rank 4 and as you can see you have 51k um uh, of might if you zoom up all these four you will have 204k and with the tendency you will have 12 percent more of this one which will be only 28k if you see it's not a big deal it's better in my main for sure because here we have a lot more so here we it will make a uh, more difference but still it's not a big deal in my opinion of course there are some people who likes to to match tendency but in uh, but at what I do is I always match according to the talent with this one for example this has insight so I use it on tank priest because my tank priest has a high insight but if I if I get in this case if I if I get um, let's say might I would use this beast on ghost king instead because ghost king is might focus and I'm gonna get more attributes from this bonus rather than the ten than the tendency. Then we have the quantity bonus. The quantity bonus it's a uh, it's a different um, sorry. It's a bonus on the basic attributes for character. It's very good. So I always suggest to have more than 15 pieces because that's the max. 15 pieces is the max, 150%. You can get more than that, but you can get less. You can you get 10% for each piece below 15 pieces. And this is for characters. And finally, we have the intimacy. As I mentioned, I mentioned before, this is only for servants. And it applies every 10 points. You get one intimacy point per hour. Or you can use Celestial Dew on this port to get more intimacy. And this bonus will apply on talent attributes. Then the final thing that we can found here is the score. This score is just an addition of all the basic attributes, talent attributes, plus some other, other little stuff. And honestly, it has no function a lot at all in the game, so don't bother with it. it. It doesn't matter. If we come back, we can see here that you can select writing pieces or not writing pieces, as you can see right here. But all of them are writing, so and right there. And then we have guide. Here is where you can uh, assign players on air. This is especially used on early game. After that, most of the people just forget about it. 
you can just random lead to ascend a random guy or just set to lead where you can select the name of the player that you are planning to ascend. The cost is 5k spirit stones and you get in return uh, some merits. Now let's go to the materials. You have two options to buy materials for business on your daily basis, which is given sec market, as we can see here. And the other one is hell on Rome and you go to hell. The materials are, are the same. We can find beast collar. This is for extra pieces because when you start you only can have 25. Beast for rage to raise up the level. Celestial dew to add intimacy. Soul cleaning hair to refine the skills. Heaven in fields, use it for rank up. Same for heaven crystals. And then we have the X. The X are the items how, uh, where you get the pieces. You have two stars, which is not recommended at all. Two stars are not recommended. Three stars, which are not the priority, even if you are a free to play, but they are very useful for servants since they have the person bonus on talent. I can explain this in another video. And four stars. For the five star and six star pieces, you need to wait for a special event or you need to top up to get a five star at 30k top up. And then for the six star, the first one, you get it at 120k and the next one at 300k top up. You you can't get five stars pieces on a daily basis or in some place. It's it's only for spenders. And that's it. This is the beast anatomy. I'm gonna show you just a little of my pieces so you can see the difference. This is a three stars. As you can see, the stats are very low. This is a rank two, of course, but still they are lower. But I use the three stars for a reason, and is this one. They still have this bonus, which is good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, when you upgrade your pieces, the cost on the level is the same. But the, this cost, it's lower. It's according to the stars. So three stars are cheaper, and the first three ranks are actually very useful when you use it on servants. For character, they are not good, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just mounting this one because of the extra fortune that I get here, just to complete my critical chance. But that's the only reason I'm using a uh, Twister right now. Then, if we go to a 4 stars level 0, as you can see, I have more stats even than the 3 stars rank 1. The level is higher, yes, but the four stars are a little better. Just like I say, well, not a little, actually, they, they are quite better. And if you go to the two stars, you can see the stats are very low. And they are actually just like one stars. They are almost the same. They have no talents. And the only exception on three stars is for the pieces that you get from Earth. This one has no tendency. That's the only difference with the other three stars. Okay, the other three stars have tendency. They, they have not. But as I say before, the tendency is not a big deal, so it's okay. The only ones that I never recommend to, buy, to get is two stars. Never, never buy two stars. If you get it through a reward or as a second item because you bought maybe... On a special event of four stars, and you got the second star, the two stars, okay. But they are just for sacrifice. Two stars and one stars are just livestock. They can be used on Yangshin to get more extra forage, or they can be used on talent events to get some extra talents, as I, as I said before.
the ranks on one star are, is cheaper, it's just 40 in pills, so you can use it on talent events to get some extra talent points and then just release them, just set them free. Never relieve them because it's 50 as spirit jade, it's not worth it. And that's all for today, uh, this video is a little long, I know, I'm sorry that for that, so if you have any question, please let me know. You can write a comment or you can just send me a message on Discord. My name is Dirty Blood right now on Discord. And this is all for today. Thank you. And have a good day.